and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you clicked on today's video. Taking you guys along with me for another week. I'm getting my hair done a little bit later on in the week so I really wanted to vlog. It's gonna be not the craziest transformation but it's definitely change. It's a change for your girl. Other than getting my hair done though I do have a few other really fun things planned for the week that I'm gonna take you guys along with. You just saw me trying to use the Shark Flex style. I just got that a few days ago and I am slowly but learning how to actually use it. My main goal was to really just go for like a blowout look today. I feel like it's almost there but there's like some crazy hairs in here. That's been really fun trying out. I've wanted one for the longest time. I kind of held off on it because I didn't know if I would use it to the point where it'd be worth the money and I also was really afraid of not knowing how to use it. But I finally decided to pull the trigger and and try it out and I have been loving it so much mainly for like the blowout effect. I don't know why but I could never get my curtain bangs to like swoop like this and with the shark I can do it so I'm happy about it. Aside from all that though I just took you guys through my little routine this morning and another really big part of this week's vlog and something I'm trying really really hard to do is get back in to a normal and healthy routine. We've been in Colorado for almost two months months now and I have yet to get into a good routine. I'm definitely someone who needs to have a routine. Super excited to take you guys along with me for the week though and I thought what better way to start this vlog off than with a little book haul. I really just have one book to show you guys. My Owl Cray book of the month came and I actually haven't gotten one of these in a hot minute because I skipped like the last month or two I think. First thing we're opening up is their Perfect Pairings pin. It's inspired by Good Omen. I haven't read this yet, but this pin is so cool. I love that. Okay, this is really cool. This is a bowl inspired by Lord of the Rings. I've never read the books. They are books I would like to read, but I have seen all of the movies. This is what the bowl looks like. The artist who worked on this did such a great job. I did see those movies when I was very, very young. You could say I'm a bit traumatized from some of the things in those movies because they can get very dark and a little crazy. I'm looking at this art right now and I just, it's scaring me to be completely honest. So I'm gonna tuck this back in the box where it's nice and safe. Is this like to hold my water bottle? So this is a travel mug tote bag and it's inspired by the Hurricane Wars. Next up we have this little keychain. This is a keychain mirror inspired by Evocation. This is what it looks like. This is a keychain bottle opener and it's inspired by one dark window. This is really, really cool. It's literally in the shape of a key. Last but not least, we have our August book of the month and it's Castle of the Cursed by Romina Garber. Already, I do really like the cover of this and it does have some really pretty sprayed edges. This is what the back looks like. And the edges are basically stained glass as well. I think these are gorgeous. I've never seen like stained glass edges before. I think that's really, really cool. It's a gothic castle full of family history and the mysteries that lie beneath them. Estella suffers from survivor's guilt after her parents are killed in a strange attack. She heads to her estranged aunt's ancestral Spanish castle, which harbors family secrets that are somehow linked to her parents' death, and a boy only she can see that claims to be trapped. As she dives deeper into the secrets, she realizes the suspect behind the deaths may be close than she thinks. I think this will be a really cool book to read in the fall time. Here's the hardcover. We have the back, the inside artwork, very dark gothic vibes, and then this is what the reverse side looks like. Very, very cool. So like I mentioned, today is Monday, and Mondays are usually just like big work days for me. I had a brand meeting this morning, and I really just have a ton of editing and organizing to do. We are gonna head out for a little bit though because we're gonna go watch a family member's dog while they go out for a little bit. I'm actually gonna pack up my laptop and a book to bring with me so I can get some work done at their house. Before we head out though, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Bombas. 
If you've never heard of Bombas before, they are a comfort-focused premium basics brand with a mission to help those in need. They launched back in 2013 after the founders learned that socks are the number one most requested clothing item at homeless shelters. From there, they set out to solve that problem by making the things you wear every day feel good and do good. One thing purchased is one thing donated and I just love their whole mission, their whole purpose. It's so good. They're giving back to the community and helping people and that just makes my heart so happy. I'm obsessed with socks. <laughs> They do sell other things besides socks, like t-shirts and underwear, basically essentials. I'm obsessed with socks and I've been wearing their socks for the past few weeks. When I tell you they are the comfiest, most softest socks I have ever worn, I don't know if I could ever wear different socks unless they're Bombas because of the feeling of them. The ones I just put on are these cute little lightweight socks. They're seamless toe, so you don't have like that annoying like little bump up there. It just makes for them being more comfortable throughout the day. And I picked these ones out specifically just because I love the cute little design up here. This morning when we went to the gym, I threw on a pair of these. I'm obsessed with these. They're kind of giving like a cute sporty vibe and I've been wearing them to the gym lately. These are their mid-weight socks though and what I love about these is that the footbed is actually cushioned So when you're wearing them, it's like you're walking on a cushion so comfy guys Especially for working out doing hot girl walks. They're such an incredible brand though They've already donated over a hundred million items and they also provide a hundred percent happiness guarantee So if you're not happy with the socks if something happens to them if your dog chews them You can return them or exchange them at no extra cost. They also focus on premium materials like like extra long cotton and that's probably why their socks are so comfy and soft. You guys can actually use my code Alexa20 to get 20% off your first purchase from Bombas or you can go to bombas.com slash Alexa Ray and you'll get 20% off. Now that I got my Bombas on though, we are going to head out and get some work done for the day. We ended up stopping at Target and Sprouts just to pick up a few little things. I ended up picking up these shoes from Target. I don't have anything like these in my closet, but there's something so stinking cute about these. I feel like they're gonna look so cute in the fall time with like a little pair of jeans. I got a new cup for water. I've been eyeing this for a while. I just really like the orange and the pink. Some little hair clips. We got these beautiful flowers from Sprouts. We picked up some goat cheese and olives. This is like our favorite, favorite snack at the moment. <laughs> Are you serious? I got some orange juice. I also picked up some pitaya passion fruit to throw in with my smoothies in the morning. But hi, he thinks it's for him. Not a single one of those things. I, the goat cheese on a lick mat. Would you like that? Okay, I think for the rest of the night though, we're kind of just gonna hang out, do some editing, and probably play some games. Tomorrow's trivia. And <laughs> see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, friends. I have spent the majority of today just editing and filming a really fun reading vlog. I actually started listening to the audiobook for Daydream by Hannah Grace. This is probably one of my most anticipated reads of the year because it's Hannah Grace and she is really one of my favorite authors at the moment. I love, love, love her first book, Icebreaker. It's just this really cute and fluffy hockey romance. And then book two was so fun to read last year. It really gave off all the summery vibes and book three were back in like a college and hockey setting henry turner he's so cute and him and hallie and their dynamic and it just the sweet little moments we're getting between the two of them 
unwell. I don't know what she puts in these books, but I am addicted to them. I pick them up and I literally don't ever want to put them down. I just want to keep reading and reading and reading. So I started listening to the audiobook for that for a fun, cozy reading vlog. Right now, I'm just getting ready because today is trivia day. We do trivia every Tuesday. So fun, guys. We love trivia. It's more like fast-paced trivia compared to the one we were doing back home. Back home, we would have to write on a piece of paper and like run it up to the front as fast as possible. Possible. but here we do it all on our phones and it's like super speedy trivia so it's a little bit different but it's really fun i'm getting ready for that look how cute this t-shirt is i got this from american eagle for free it has 77 on it which is chris's hockey number i literally don't have anything with his hockey number on it except my hockey hoodie and i just thought this was so cute his number is so special too though the first seven is for my birthday because i was born december 7th and then the second seven is for our our wedding anniversary because we got married on October 7th. So 77 is a super special number and when I saw this t-shirt I was like okay I have to get it. It's just it's meant to be. It's also really nice for summer though because it's a super thin material. So I have my cutie little 77 t-shirt on and then I'm wearing these ripped shorts which I just love the fit of these. They fit me perfectly and I always have a really hard time finding jeans and shorts that will actually fit my waist and these fit so so nice and then I'm just wearing a pair of slip-on vans. So yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go to trivia and hopefully we do well. The first time we went, we did super, super well. And then last time we went, we thought we were doing well and then we didn't end up doing that well. <laughs> and then when we get home, I'm continuing on my fun, cozy mood reading vlog. I'm gonna work a little bit on my book nook. I started building this book nook and I had no idea how tedious it would be putting together a book nook. I for some reason thought it was going to be super fun and like easy, kind of like Legos. And then I opened the box and I was like, oh, it's not like Legos. That's the plan though. I'm going to get together my little bag and we are going to head out. Okay guys, so <laughs> we just got home from trivia a little bit ago. I had to finish up an audiobook for a reading vlog. I built a little bit of my book nook. I literally feel like it's gonna take me the entire month to finish this book nook, guys. I am not even kidding. I don't know if it's just me, but you need a special type of patience to put together a book nook. <laughs> I got home from trivia. It was super fun. We didn't win, but it was fun, and that's what matters. I'm gonna put together a little lick mat for Osiris, and you've just been the best boy. Can I say hi? Oh, you're too short. <laughs> there you go. Showing him places he's never seen before. I'm gonna give him a little bit of goat cheese on his lick mat. Chris's aunt was telling me, she's like teaching me all these really cool little dog tips and tricks. She was telling me how goat cheese could be really good for dogs in moderation. So every once in a while, we'll give him a little bit of goat cheese on the lick mat and he just loves it so, so much. And it makes my heart so happy. I love how cute this is and it's so fun for him. That's been my day and night. Tuesday's been a little, a little boring vlog wise just because it's been a heavy work day and then we went to trivia. So tomorrow is Wednesday. I don't know. What, what we have planned for tomorrow. I don't think we have anything crazy planned. I am hoping to maybe go to the pool, maybe after the gym or something because it's been pretty warm here in Colorado. Today it was like 85 or 86 and I think the rest of the week is actually gonna be pretty hot out. Hopefully tomorrow we can maybe hang out at the pool and do some reading. And then Thursday I get my hair done. I think for the rest of the night, Chris and I are just gonna hang out, play some games and... Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's been a pretty quiet day for the most part. I've just been working all morning. And then we went to Barnes. 
because a new book came out the other day and it is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. I can't believe I have this in my hands right now. I am so excited. I can't even explain the feeling that I have for having this book in my hands right now. We have Wisteria by Adeline Grace. This is book three in the Belladonna series. Okay, honestly, I haven't been waiting for this book for that long because I read Belladonna, I want to say back in April, and then I read Foxglove shortly after, but it's been a few months and I have been patiently waiting what makes me most excited about this book is it seems like it's gonna be really really fun enemies to lovers and I feel like the little bit of banter that we saw in Foxglove between these two characters just has me so excited to read about their story. I feel like this is gonna be such a fun read especially knowing how book two ended off. It's kind of revealed to us all of these secrets. I feel like Wisteria is gonna be so amazing and I already have such high hopes for it that I think it's gonna be a five-star read as well as my favorite book out of the entire series. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition though. It's not really that much different from the normal cover. It just has different coloring on it. The inside artwork and the hardcover. Oh my gosh. So on the front it says, it said that the wisteria vine is a symbol of immortality. Beautiful. Such a beautiful hardcover book. This is the spine and then the back of it. Look at it. I'm so excited. And then the inside artwork is just as stunning. <gasps> I'm gonna read the dedication just because that's always one of my favorite parts to read in a book. I started this book by my fireside on a rainy day with one of my best friends working beside me. This book is for her, for her friendship, her soup, and for being one of the best and kindest humans I'm lucky enough to know. That's enough to make me sob. If you're not familiar with Belladonna, highly recommend the series. I feel like especially going into the fall time, it is the perfect time to pick up the book series because they just give off like that fall cozy vibe. The second book I picked up is Year One in the Kingmaker series. This is by Sophie Lark and it's basically like the spin-off series to her Brutal Birthright series. Loved those books so, so much except for the last book. Heavy Crown does not exist in my mind. I kind of pretend that I didn't read that book and that it's not a part of the series. The rest of the series was so good. I loved it so much. Book two and book five are probably my favorite books out of that series. So I'm really excited to jump in to the Kingmakers because this series basically revolves around the children of the most powerful mafia families in the world. A lot of the characters in this series are the children of our main characters from the Brutal Birthright series. So I feel like this is going to be really cool to read about their kids and what they're kind of getting up to because they're basically going to be in a universe setting and they're attending university with other mafia family children so I feel like it's gonna be really crazy. I'm already excited because I'm seeing artwork in here. I'm so excited about both of them. These are two books that are definitely on my end of the year TBR and that I'm super excited to read and get through but I think for the rest of the night I do have a little bit more work to do but I also want to work on my book nook a little bit. We're gonna make some dinner, kind of just hang out. I've had such long like work days recently so I feel like I need a night to just relax. Good morning guys! It's officially hair day! And I'm so, so excited. I packed up my bag for the day. I have a book in there, my Kindle, and a water bottle. Doing something that I've wanted to do for the longest time and try out. Hopefully everything goes well. Little outfit of the day. I'm just wearing my crying in the book club crew neck from Ray of Happiness. This is still available in in the shop. We have a new drop coming out soon that I'm really, really excited for. Wearing this comfy, cozy crew neck. It's gonna be hot out today, but I'm gonna be inside, and I feel like when I'm inside, I'm always freezing, so. And then I'm just wearing my band and a pair of blue leggings from Airy. These are the softest leggings I think I have ever owned. I'm obsessed with these, and I'm obsessed with this color. I'm gonna go give the boys a kiss goodbye, and then we are gonna head out.
Hi guys, long time no chat. I always get conflicted when I film week in my life or just vlogs in general because I want to take you guys along for the fun stuff that I'm doing and when I'm just having normal chill work days at home, I feel like it just gets really repetitive and boring. So we skipped over a little bit of time just because it was a lot of just working. Yeah, now we're here. It's Saturday. Chris and I are just finishing getting ready. We have a super, super fun day planned ahead of us. First things first though, I got my hair done Thursday. I'm so happy with how it turned out guys. I genuinely don't remember the last time I got my hair done and I was so happy and excited at the end. Basically what I had done is I had my root color kind of pulled down and blended through my ends because my ends were super super light. Then I had some highlights put in. But they're kind of like caramel looking which I love because I feel like that's so perfect and cozy for the fall time and then I also had one row of extensions put in just to kind of add fullness to my hair because my ends especially were super thin and dull my hair looked so much shorter than what it really was because of that and I'm obsessed I love it I feel like a new woman basically. You guys also just saw me using the shark again. I love using it to blow out like my curtain bangs. The shark really gives it that little swoop that I love. I'm super excited to actually use it on like all of my hair because I think it will give it a really really nice wave. These are just waves and curls from the hair appointment. They've kept pretty well. I also put a cute little bow in my hair for the day. That was super, super fun. Happy day. Happy Alexa. Yesterday, Chris and I actually had a really fun and relaxing pool day. We hung out at the pool. I did some reading. We did some swimming. It was absolutely beautiful out. I think it was around 85 or 86. Something I kind of messed up with, and this is such a rookie mistake, but at the same time, we are living in a totally different place now. The sun and the UV here is usually a lot higher and stronger. I got burnt, guys. I got burnt so, so bad, and I applied lots of sunscreen. I had it all over my face. Realistically, I should have been applying all day, and I just didn't. I got very burnt. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also got super burnt on my forehead which is very unfortunate the tops of my feet also burning your feet in the sun is probably one of the worst areas to get burnt because shoes here's your reminder to wear lots of sunscreen and make sure you reapply throughout the day unlike me rookie mistake dumb mistake now i know though so next time we have a little pool day i'll be reapplying we had a pool day it was super fun relaxing got some reading done reading light lark oh my gosh it's getting so much better i'm obsessed with this story and i'm really hoping that that I'm able to read book two with my book club next month. A lot of people have brought up maybe picking up book two and reading it right away. So hopefully we get to read that together in September because I think it will be such a fun experience. And then after our pool day, we went out to try a new restaurant and this was so fun. We went to this little restaurant called Hot Pot Story. There's like a conveyor belt of food. You would take food off the conveyor belt and add it in to whichever broth you chose. Chris and I did the most delicious faux broth so so good we came home we had a super cozy night in we watched the new beverly hills cop movie on netflix with eddie murphy so funny so good highly recommend chris got me into those movies those were like some of his favorite movies growing up and now we are here it's saturday we have a fun day planned ahead of us originally we were gonna have another fun little pool day but after seeing how bad we burn i think we're gonna stay away from the pool for a day or two just so our bodies can heal but today we're having a fun little downtown day we're gonna check out the olympic museum which i think is gonna be really fun because the olympics just happened we're gonna try out a new restaurant downtown as well we're slowly getting around to trying a whole bunch of new things here in colorado springs and last week we actually tried out this irish pub so so good i'm so happy we found it so we're gonna try another restaurant downtown today and then we're also going to a soccer game we're gonna go to a switchbacks game tonight which i think is gonna be really fun i'm excited to see what it's like and what it's all about chris loves soccer he watches soccer all the time so he's really pumped for it we have a whole fun little day planned out i'm just gonna put a bag together really quick and then we are gonna head out 